hello guys this is Megari and welcome back to my channel guys for today's video guys we'll be doing another informative kind of content for this video i'll be sharing all about the vaccine but you're already here guys you might as well consider subscribing and click that notification bell down below for you to be updated whenever i post a new video so without further ado guys let's just get into the video let's go And yes guys this video as what I said is all about the COVID-19 vaccination that is going throughout United Arab Emirates most especially here in Abu Dhabi as you all know guys here in Abu Dhabi there are actually healthcare satellites over some specific areas here in Abu Dhabi and just to give you a glimpse of my personal experience and also what i've been doing lately and just to give a little background guys i am part of the covid19 vaccination team of a healthcare facility here in abu dhabi so i have a little background with the criterias or what is the setup on how you can get the vaccine for the covid19 and yes guys there are a lot of questions that i have handled throughout my experience and up until now i am still part of the team so i just want to make a content out of this experience just to give a little information for those who haven't taken the vaccine yet and who are the candidate included and who are excluded with the vaccine and just a disclaimer guys this is not affiliated to the facility that I'm currently working on and this video is also not affiliated to any government bodies so this is just based on my personal opinion guys so if you like this video just keep on watching to begin with guys our healthcare facility have its own rules based to what is given by the Department of Health here in Abu Dhabi or based from the Ministry of Health and Prevention basically we have like satellites most especially tents that are located in different areas here in Abu Dhabi city and also outside the city such as the tourist club area if you know the Al Mashraf building guys it is just backside near Big Mart at the tourist club area we have also one at Madinat Zayed just backside if I'm not mistaken of the baby shop airport road if you get what i mean and some special mission at department of finance and abu dhabi national hotels and more locations but the three main tents that we have for public are actually the Medina zayed location the tourist club and the mohammed bin zayed so those three locations are actually giving free vaccines to the people around it or for those who are just walking in and just want to have the vaccine guys the vaccine is actually free as of the moment but we just have now a limited slots for a day so we often start in a different timings but the queue will always be starting from the first one or the first person who is in the line so that's how's the setup guys and before entering the tent a person in charge is actually giving already two copies of a form a consent form to the clients so actually this form is the consent form wherein you will just put your name your signature and the date for the day if that makes sense and there will be a separate paper for the vital signs and for the interview so the setup of the tent will be like you will just fall in line first because actually it's a free vaccine throughout abu dhabi or along the area so the queue is expected to be long so before going to the queue guys you must be so ready of how long you're willing to wait just for you to have the vaccine because it's a first come first serve basis guys but the queue 
is actually separated into division wherein the ladies and the gents section so we have only two cues guys wherein of course the priority will always be the ladies wherein they have the separate queue for them and also for the gents and to the, upon going to the queue as what i said two copies of the consent paper will be given and you will be putting your name signature and the date for that day then before going inside the tent you will actually be instructed to get your kilo or your weight and, and it will be put in a separate paper given by a nurse or a person in charge of the queue so the weight will be taken and at the same time you should know your personal height preferably in feet so the first thing is to take the papers then take the weight and also just know your height as well then your temperature is also be taken and just move on to a table wherein a nurse will do a a simple interview and background of yourself so in our facility guys we actually are going to take your blood pressure or we will monitor your blood pressure before giving the vaccine because one of the vital things that we are considering before giving the vaccine is actually the blood pressure guys wherein we monitor your um, blood pressure before giving the vaccine so different questions will be thrown to you that you need to honestly answer to, for you to be able to know if you are actually qualified or not qualified for the vaccine guys just a little background guys the vaccine here in abu dhabi is actually given by the department of health so all the vaccines given by different facilities here in abu dhabi is actually all the same and uh, it's all from the department of health here in abu dhabi and yes guys series of questions will be thrown to you that you need to honestly answer just for your own sake guys so if you're the one lying about the things here and something will happen to you it's not the fault of the nurse but actually your own fault guys so you really need to disclose things and if you really want to ask something that you're doubting with the vaccine or that all about the vaccine you can actually ask during this time to the one-on-one -on -one interview with the nurse so basically guys we're actually asking like if it is your first time taking the vaccine because actually here in abu dhabi there is a trial um trial version of the vaccine taken a few months ago wherein they had like diverse people who tried the vaccine before going into public facilities and um, for this month we actually asked if it is their first time or they have a vaccine such as like um, flu vaccine within 14 days and it must be a first dose only guys so if you're if you already receive vaccines from other facilities you are no longer considered to take another vaccine for a different facility that is a policy guys so the next question is if you have any history of positive test or a, any history of covid19 in the last few months basically guys it is a separation between a mild and a severe how will you know if you're a mild candidate or a severe candidate basically we're just asking if you had any positive results of a covid19 test so if the client will say yes we're going to ask where did you go during the quarantine if you stayed at home or you went to a hospital facility or somewhere just for a quarantine if you are just asymptomatic and just staying at home or in a uh, place for just a quarantine it is considered mild but if you receive an oxygenation via a medical facility it is considered to be moderate to severe case 
of COVID-19. So if you are COVID-19 moderate to severe candidate, you cannot take the vaccine given by our facility. While if you're just a mild candidate, you didn't receive any oxygenation via a medical team, you can still get the vaccine. So another one is if you have any uncontrolled asymptomatic disease or any autoimmune diseases such as like rheumatoid arthritis and other any autoimmune diseases guys so we basically ask if you have any history here of any surgeries or any medicines that you're taking for a daily basis and including guys the allergic reactions to food and also allergic reactions most especially to vaccines and other medicines in here guys if we are doubting any of the inclusions we're asking actually for a doctor's consent but i'll be telling you more about it later on guys so another question that we're having if you have any uh, conditions such as like epilepsy surgical things happen to your body such as like about the heart about the breathing and like mental illness such things that like that so in here we really need to know more about your health about your condition before going to get the vaccine and this a series of questions guys are guide for us to know if you're a perfect candidate for the vaccine guys so we really need an honest answers to the question because it is not only for our sake it is basically for the client's sake so another question is like if they're taking any medicines such as like immunosuppressive drugs for like cancers and such things as like that and also maintenance for hypertension and diabetes for hypertension guys we are given the maximum blood pressure measurement of 160 over 95 anything that is higher than that are not given the chance to get the vaccine but we're actually using the digital one we're actually getting it via a digital one so we actually check it twice so another is if they're taking medicine for diabetes guys so basically this is just simple questionnaires that will guide us if you are really a good candidate for the vaccine so what are the conditions that are included or that it can possibly still get the vaccine the vaccine is just intended for all people age 18 year old and above but there are still parents who are actually allowing their 16 to 17 year old to get the vaccine but what we basically doing is just like we really need a consent from their doctor or a guardian or by the parents signed in the consent just to make sure guys that they're allowing us healthcare providers to give the vaccine to their child or to their children but the only age allowed to get the vaccine is 18 year old and above so anyone who is lower the age provided or like 17 and below need a physician's consent and a guardian's consent if that makes sense guys so another one is people with blood pressure of 160 over 95 and below this margin blood pressure is strictly given for those who are hemodynamically stable candidate or people and another candidate are those people who have controlled asymptomatic chronic illnesses such as autoimmune diseases wherein we actually often encounter thyroid a hypothyroidism or a hyperthyroidism but with meds is still considered to be a candidate even an HIV patient we still can give the vaccine as long as they have a medicine um, to control their illnesses and those are actually the inclusions for the vaccine however they are also excluded with the vaccine so who are those who are excluded to get the vaccine as I've tackled a while back if you have a 
COVID positive history for the last few months and your case is considered to be moderate to severe, you are actually excluded to get the vaccine. Those who are also pregnant are prohibited to get the vaccine. So most of the ladies are actually given pregnancy test kit, most especially those who are married and their husbands are here or those who are sexually active and also those who are in doubt and willing to get the pregnancy test. The third one, who are actually excluded to take the vaccine are those who have severe allergic reaction allergies on food an allergy to medicines another one is if you have a recent history of convulsion epilepsy and other things like that i recommend they must get a physician's consent just to make sure also that they are fit for the vaccine and those who get other vaccines such as like live attenuated vaccines or other vaccines within 14 days they are also prohibited to get it for one example is the flu vaccine if you get the flu vaccine within the 14 days you are not also allowed to get the covid 19 vaccine so and those also who are battling for cancer and remission for less than six months they are also not allowed to get the vaccine so those are gu guidelines if you are a candidate for the vaccine or not guys so for our facility guys we actually register first via our emirates id those who have expired emirates id will also have the chance to get the vaccine guys as long as you have expired or active emirates id it's fine you can get the vaccine this vaccine guys is actually in two doses first will be given at that day then after 21 days it will be the second dose there are just common questions being asked such as like if they can still drink alcohol if they can still um, smoke if they can still get pregnant does it have any side effects or any things that will giving them the doubt not to get the vaccine first of all guys it's funny how they ask if they will become zombie after this basically guys you will still be normal so we're advising the girls not to get pregnant yet at least if they can do it a year it is much better but if they cannot control themselves and they really want to get pregnant as soon as possible we actually advise them to not yet to get pregnant within three months after taking the vaccine just to make sure that there will be no complications on the pregnancy and even on the baby so uh, you cannot get pregnant within uh, three months at least and we also not advise to drink alcohol yet uh, if they can for a week just to monitor themselves upon the side effects of the vaccine or how they body reacts to the vaccine because sometimes we feel like dizzy and we might blame the vaccines for being like vomiting or what just to make sure that they actually monitor themselves first so we actually advise them not to drink alcohol yet for smoking guys because the worst condition that might happen to a person who get the vaccine will be a difficulty of breathing wherein we advise that they must call or go to the nearest hospital if they have difficulty of breathing after the vac after taking the vaccine or after getting the vaccine the common side effects are just little pain little fever a little dizziness and also something like diarrhea they are just normal so that's it for this vlog guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below if you still have any questions that you really want me to answer about covid19 vaccines here in abu dhabi share it also to your friends for them to know if they are also a perfect fit for this covid19 free public vaccinations that is actually going on here around many areas here in abu dhabi and hope you get some information before taking the vaccine and see you again in my next vlog guys stay healthy peace y'all